a very old Stuart S50 steam plant part 10. Painting the engine base, painting the cylinder and a repair method that didn't work. The painting job starts by removing the crosshead bars because I don't want to paint these. These are currently being removed and they'll be put in the plastic box with some other parts. When you do jobs like this it's fairly important not to lose any of the components because if you lose them you have to make them again. And that is a pain. The first thing I need is a painting base and this is my painting jig that I made a while back. It's just a piece of plywood with a couple of pieces of mahogany glued to it and as you can see it lifts the component clear of the board. And that way when I paint across the bottom of the engine base I'm not going to A paint the bench and B pick up any rubbish off the bench. I'm going to stop talking for a while because I can't speak and paint at the same time. So I'll play some suitable painting music to accompany the video. But don't worry though, the painting sequence is generally at a high speed so it won't take very long and I need to show you something interesting at the end of the video. All of the engine components have their first coat of paint and as an extra special bonus, here is the clip of the paint drying. Here is the new valve rod that I made and it is a rattle fit in the original gland nut. I want to show a potential repair to the gland nut that would work if it was bigger. But I would like to say that I am only showing this because it is food for thought on certain repair jobs. I will make a new gland nut using a piece of hexagon brass, pretty similar to this but a bit smaller. The original gland nut over time has worn off centre. And what I am going to do is attempt to fill up the hole with some silver solder and then re-drill it. But normally to do this job I would need to drill a bigger hole but that would weaken the assembly and it could melt or distort when I do this. For small silver soldering jobs such as this I normally use an old piece of stainless steel grate from a model locomotive. And you may be wondering why is this part not sticking to the stainless steel grate and being silver soldered to it. The answer is simple because it's very dirty. And as a good tip whenever you silver solder anything make sure that all the parts are very clean. This part fell over a couple of times but in the end it looked like this. Here it is lightly held by the threads in the lathe chuck and I'm machining away the excess silver solder. And this turns fairly much like brass but instead of it coming off in small chips 
it comes off in long lengths. I'm taking fine cuts because I don't want the part to jump out of the chuck, because I've already mentioned it's just held by the threads. I don't know whether the silver sole is any better or worse a bearing surface than brass. Brass wears out very quickly. It doesn't seem to do in these small oscillating cylinder engines, but then again, they don't have much pressure put on them. One more cut should do it, I think, and the end of the brass nut is flat. The first thing to do is to drill a centre hole down the work. And obviously I'm using a centre drill that is smaller than 3 seconds of an inch. Even though the centre drill went down the centre of the work, when I use a twist drill it's a different story, you can see it wobbling about. And I think that's due to the hole originally being off centre, filled with silver solder, so now when I try and drill it or ream it, what happens is, both the drill and the reamer are following the path of least resistance. I just wanted to show you this because it's an interesting way not to do a job. Having said that though, if I'd have drilled the hole much bigger down the centre of this gland nut, then I would have just been drilling into silver solder and I wouldn't have had this problem. But there's no point because it's a very easy part to make. That's it for this episode, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website. Click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that you will find it very easy to find other videos that you may like to watch.